Hello all of you beautiful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com and you know what, video games are just so full of secrets that we just love diving into and exploring but um, sometimes there are secrets that we really wish we didn't know because they will either ruin the game, break the immersion completely or just creep us the hell out. So um, yeah, thank me later for this one because I'm about to introduce you to 10 of them as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com and these are 10 video game secrets you didn't want to know. Number 10. Toad's hat is actually his head, Mario. Now there are many mysteries which Nintendo has left fans to debate over the years, but perhaps none as perversely compelling as the noggin of Mario's beloved pal Toad. Now fans have fiercely argued for literally decades about whether the toad stall on top of his head is actually a hat or a part of his head. Well in 2018, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey provided a definitive canonical answer in a Q&A video, where he categorically confirmed that it isn't a hat but is indeed part of his head. He said this, I'm going to have to leave it to all of you to figure out exactly how it works, maybe there's something inside. Nintendo fans who assumed that they were looking at a hat were both horrified and outraged, especially as the 1980 Super Mario Bros. cartoon, which admittedly isn't canon, suggested that it indeed was just a fashion item. Sometimes the only solution is to adhere to your own head canon, and this is clearly one of those times. Hashtag team hat. Number 9. Headcrab zombies are screaming for help. Backwards. Half-Life 2. Though Half-Life's headcrab zombies aren't too scary considering that they move slowly and are easily pacified with a few bullets, they do nevertheless hide a haunting secret in plain sight. Thanks to the masterful sequel, you'll no doubt have the headcrab zombies' menacing screams seared into your subconsciousness, but did you know that they actually contain a hidden cry for help? Well, a fan took it upon themselves, for some reason, to reverse the otherwise indecipherable zombie cry, and when played backwards, it's a distressed human voice clearly shouting, help God, help help me. Above all else, this seems to confirm the nauseating truth that the victims of the headcrabs are, on some level, entirely aware of what's happening to them, and when you kill them, you're still killing a human being with thoughts and feelings. Then again, given that their torsos are ripped wide open, Gordon Freeman is probably doing them a favour. Number 8. Trains are worn by NPCs. Fallout 3. In only slightly less alarming fashion, we have Fallout 3's trains, specifically the presidential metro in the game's Broken Steel DLC, which a player discovered in 2015 are actually just hats worn by NPCs residing below the game world. Basically, Bethesda decided to cut some corners by just stapling the trains onto NPCs' pre-existing movement routines, and PC Gamer did their own investigation only to discover that the trains actually were attached to NPCs' arms. For all intents and purposes, the trains still look like a hat though, as anyone who uses the Gek editor to view the abomination in all its glory will see it defying physics by clinging to the top of a poor man's head. As much as Bethesda's games have a reputation for being held together by popsicle sticks and duct tape, this is just ridiculous and very, very weird. Number 7. Cursed Sonic – Sonic CD Sonic CD features an easter egg which has haunted the nightmares of an entire generation of gamers, so you are able to enter the game's sound test menu by entering the code down 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 left right A on the title screen. Once on the sound test menu, select FM number 46, PCM number 12 and DA number 25, at which point a disturbing collage will flash on the screen, showing what appears to be a skeletal deformed version of Sonic the Hedgehog accompanied by some Japanese text. As it turns out, the image is a combination of Sonic's body and the face of one of the game's designers, Masato Nishimura. As for the text, well, it translates to Infinite Fun Sega Enterprises Image by Margin. Though in certain contexts Margin can be translated to Devil or Demon, in this case it's reportedly a nickname of Nishimura himself, while the eerie background music is simply the final boss track from the US version of Sonic CD. This is undeniably one of those easter eggs that you just cannot unsee, and even as the decades pass, few who saw it in their youth will ever forget it. Number 6. Most of the dead bodies are actually James's character model, Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is one of the greatest video games, and say it with me kids, of all time! A haunting survival masterpiece and one of the most psychologically fascinating games ever made. Throughout the game, players will come across a number of dead bodies, most of which are mutilated in some fashion, disguising their more distinctive features. But because Silent Hill 2 isn't already disturbing enough, players who do actually look closely, or better yet, take a deep dive into the game's files, will learn the horrifying truth. That the majority of the corpses are actually modified from protagonist James Sunderland's own character model. 
The game makes it clear that Silent Hill and its monsters are a metaphor for James's own guilt for killing his terminally ill wife Mary, and given that one of the game's endings sees James commit suicide, it's telling that the game is literally strewn with variations of the man's corpse over and over again. Number 5. The Shadow People of Hell Valley – Super Mario Galaxy 2 now, Toad's hat may be a head, but not even Mario himself is safe from a sublimely creepy secret in the much-beloved Super Mario Galaxy 2. In Shiverburn Galaxy, players who enter the first-person view and look up the canyon edges will spot a trio of spectral beings looking down at them. There's no contextual reason for them being there, so their existence has fascinated fans ever since the game was released back in 2010. Those who dug into the game's files later discovered that the entities were labelled as Hell Valley Sky Tree, despite the fact that they're clearly not trees. Though numerous theories have done the rounds over the last decade, there's little in the way of a conclusive explanation for these beings, which to be honest, only makes them that much creepier. Sadly, once you know that they're there, there's little chance of you not taking a peek upwards whenever you visit Shiverburn. Number 4. It's possibly a cult recruitment tool – Kanye Quest 3030 because an unlicensed Kanye West RPG game where you have to defeat a clone of Lil B apparently wasn't weird enough, Kanye Quest 3030 harbors a secret area which is either a well-executed prank or reveals the game's true and rather sinister intent. In 2015, two years after its original release, an anonymous pastebin post revealed that users who type Ascend when a task force member asks them what they want to do will be transported to a hidden area. This area reveals that Kanye RPG was actually a front for the real game, which players are able to progress through by inputting passwords into various computer terminals. Eventually, you're transported to a new area where you're informed of an opportunity for further ascension if you enter your name and address, which may have been interpreted as the game being a recruitment tool for the mysterious ascensionism cult. Others believe that the secret is simply an elaborate jape, or perhaps an even abandoned, incomplete alternate reality game, given that the name and address fields don't actually appear to send your information anywhere. Either way, a Kanye West-starring sci-fi RPG just had to devolve into a potential cult conspiracy, right? Number 3. Humans Are Extinct – Splatoon Not even the Splatoon games are safe from a reveal that you'd probably rather never know about, so the first game's campaign includes collectible sunken scrolls for players to discover throughout, or as the case may be, perhaps not. These scrolls reveal the game's surprisingly dense lore, which it gives otherwise little allusion to, with one even detailing the discovery of a 12,000-year-old fossil of a creature with an odd internal skeleton. That is to say, a human. The description further speaks of the species as primitive with little intelligence, and that it was fossilized in the middle of some kind of ritual, but you can clearly see that it's resting beside a perfectly preserved Wii U. Between this and other scrolls, players will begin to piece together that all of the land mammals were rendered extinct by rising sea levels, allowing the Inklings forebearers to make it to land and kickstart the Mollusk Era. This is similar to when the creative director behind Pixar's Cars franchise stated the speculation that Cars actually killed off all of the humans. It's just something that most fans are perfectly happy never knowing. Number 2. This is what a Fall Guys insides look like. Fall Guys so Fall Guys is one of the year's most unexpected success stories, a ludicrously entertaining battle royale platformer that took the world by storm over the summer. Developers Mediatonic have touted an impressive social media game throughout Fall Guys' release period, though it all came to a crashing, horrifying down when their senior concept artist posted something that nobody ever wanted to see. So Tudor Morris revealed a revoltingly detailed anatomy drawing of a fool guy, confirming what the adorable jelly bean shaped creatures looked like on the inside. Now, while many players simply assume that they were just anthropomorphic beans without a skeleton to speak of, this drawing reveals that they've got a wiry skeleton throughout their entire body, complete with disturbingly elongated neck bones, a human-like skull, and a pair of eyeballs that are stretched far into their sockets. Even ignoring how utterly painful a full guy's existence seems to be from a pure biology perspective, this stomach-churning image ensured that nobody would ever look at these cute little pellets the same way again. Nightmare fuel indeed. And number one, Lisa is always following you, P.T. P.T. was perhaps probably the scariest video game of the prior generation and one of the most immaculately crafted horror titles ever made. Hideo Kojima and Gilmo del Toro's teaser for their planned Silent Hills game was a stylistic and atmospheric masterpiece, and as the player investigated a haunted house, they were harassed by a spirit known only as Lisa. What makes the game work so well is that constant, heightened state of anxiety where it always feels like Lisa is just around the corner, and you know what? That's because she literally is, when in fact she's right behind you. 
Last year, player Lance McDonald tapped into the game's camera system and discovered that, once the player obtains the flashlight early on, Lisa attaches herself to their back for the rest of the experience. This allows Lisa to create shadows and play lighting tricks on the wall, and McDonald further demonstrated that by manually locking the camera in place but walking forward, the players were able to basically control Lisa as she shambled creepily around the house. Now, PT isn't a game that needs to be any more bone-chilling than it already is, and yet the knowledge that Lisa is right there with you the entire time takes this to an unbelievable, unbearable level of terror. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game secrets that you didn't want to know. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. It's my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. It'd be great to see you over there. But before I go, my friend, I just want to say one thing. I hope that you are having a fantastic day, whatever you are getting up to, and I hope that you are treating yourself with love and respect because you bloody well deserve it, okay? Do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise. Go out there and absolutely smash it, you big ledge. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.